Ладно. Everything I own went flat, but... <laughs> Is that because I fell over before? Or is there something going on again? Alright, so I was just leaving. Having... Oh, that is so blurry, isn't it? Or is that my eyeballs? Doesn't matter. I was just leaving because they weren't letting anyone in to film anything and they were just setting up the police statement, so I figured I'd come back for that. Plenty of statements from the protesters, so. Oh wow, fancy. Hey John. Hello. So, you're good to stay here for this. Yep. It's just a little media thing. Yep. Just as long no, as you that's cause, literally. Yes, just as long as you don't cause any problems. No, no, I don't plan to yell, scream, yeah. ask questions or yep. anything. Just yep. film. I only ever film. <laughs> Have you ever seen me? I only ever film. I literally was driving off and I got a phone call saying, come back. Oh. <laughs> uh, my camera went flat, so I've got a, I only got the screen now. I wish I did have my big camera because it would be beautiful here. Anyway. Not sure how long we've got till 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 getting the bridge road. Du -du -du -du. I don't know what time it's meant to be happening. I just got told the police media thing was setting up and come back. I was literally just going to wander off and have a coffee and then decide what I was doing with the rest of my day. No worries, Whether I went and did some actual work or kept doing this. I should have, should have gone over and checked out the signs on that one before. Quite interesting things written all over it. I think you got a bit of dust in your brake pads. time I'd run over and grab my thing but I'm, I'll just have to hold it. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Exhibition Park in Canberra. Please would like to speak to you with that. Please would like to speak about the great event this morning. I 
it's like the most exciting thing that's happened in Canberra for ages and nothing actually happened. Oh look, they're all arriving. <laughs> she must have, I've got the same mask, she must have a big face. Mine doesn't stay on properly. I should have saved some camera for this, shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, all my SD cards are full of stuff I haven't taken off them at the moment. Oh, okay.
Uh, it depends on the process through the watch house. That will either be today or uh, some date in the future. about some of the sites around the ACT um, that uh, the processors are camping at. Some are, are doing that lawfully and we welcome uh, and provide that opportunity for people to protest the ACT peacefully. Um, those people who are camping illegally uh, will be uh, dealt with by us uh, and, uh, and rangers um, if, they're, if they're camping illegally. Uh, no idea, but as I say, uh, protesting activity is not illegal if you do it peacefully uh, and without disruption to the community. Uh, it's really hard to say because a lot of people uh, elected to take the advice uh, and the uh, earlier direction to move on and they were actually moving on. Um, at the start of the morning I'd estimate about a thousand people. Details, um, but they will process through the watch house um, after leaving. Oh, sorry, I don't have the full list. How much did the protesters spend on being able to hire this facility for the duration of the protest? Uh, no idea. It's probably a matter for uh, NACT. Uh, all the people that were here uh, were camping illegally and, uh, and had been given uh, plenty of warning that their activity was unlawful, uh, which is why we were here today. Uh, I think it took us uh, just over three hours, uh, which is not a bad thing. No, there's, uh, there's other activity going on in uh, Epic in preparation for some of the events uh, coming up in the weeks and months. Uh, if any of the protests, most of those protests have left, um, if there's any in there, they're only retrieving uh, some of their property and camping equipment. Um, but it had been given a direction to move on. So the, uh, the uh, venue itself is very secure uh, and about to be under the uh, control of uh, uh, Ben Stacey. So, uh, I remember um, moving slightly different protests, but um, very similar to ideology. Um, you know, the campers who were camping with tenancy, that happened last month. Then again, uh, moving out of Patrick of White Lawns, that happened again only a couple of weeks ago. And then today it's happened again. Do you think we're ever going to, you know, are we, are we in this position where we're just moving these protesters just around, you know, Canberra without actually, you know, kind of being firm and saying, you're causing a nuisance, get out? We're certainly being firm, but it's not illegal to protest. Um, and, and we uh, acknowledge and, uh, and welcome people uh, who want to take up, undertake peaceful protest and camp lawfully. Um, the uh, camping at Patrick White Lawns uh, and in the parliamentary precinct was unlawful uh, and uh, placing camping equipment and vehicles on those lawns was unlawful, which is why we moved them on. The people that were here at Epic were trespassers, so the people were committing an illegal act by being here without permission of the owner. Well, so we're hearing reports online about someone in charge of finances among the protesters taking off with their money. Have you had have police received any report of that nature from the protest, protesters? Uh, not that I'm aware of. They have their own police force inside the thing. So what we'd ask the community to do is let us know if they see people who are camping, camping illegally, um, either one for, through 131 or Crime Stoppers, uh, and we'll deal with those people appropriately. But it's just a reminder um, that it's, it's pretty well signposted and understood where you can and can't camp. Those people who are camping illegally will be dealt with. The police will be keeping a bit of a watch around the campground. Absolutely. We've got uh, additional resources available um, that will deal with any illegal activity, uh, including camping or uh, any other disruptive protest activity. Uh, I'm not sure I've got these over. And, and can we get an update on how the actual weekend went, how many arrests 
there were on Saturday and Sunday and what the nature of those charges were, if any? Yeah, there was a large, uh, um, a large number of people at uh, Parliament House for protest um, and uh, uh, I understand three people were arrested um, next to the back. On the whole, people were generally well behaved. Um, there was some traffic disruption, uh, but generally they obeyed police direction. I'm not aware of that. Yeah, we're working closely with um, uh, um, the Environment uh, Directorate uh, and the Murray River uh, Corridor Rangers to ensure that the people that are there are camping lawfully and not causing uh, a disruption in anyone else. Can I just get the uh, commanding officer who gave the order for today's operation? Uh, so I was the police hall commander uh, and Commander Linda Champion was the uh, uh, police commander for the operation. Thanks guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks guys. Oh, you're right. There's one room that they have I'd like to ask. That's what I was saying, like, because yeah. it's like, it, I believe they could be fixed just making sure things are down. Um, so, three foot so, that's so, no, no, so, we have got to try and inform things as a parent. Oh, well, I know, I know different. that wasn't happening, because yeah, yeah. I was up when yeah, it wasn't on, and I was saying, like, yes. Aussie yeah. cops are like, oh, my head, my head, and I'm like, you can actually stand next to him, we'll make a good topic of this. Because they're going, this is a child, you're in class, and I'm like, oh. And it's easy to put it on. I was going to ask that one. But yeah, you know, that's a clarifying That's all we use them for. Yep. So you might see, you probably see some imagery that we have one set up at the front of Parliament House. Yep. That was going to be for the same thing. Yeah, well, I will continue people. to say that there was a it was a line it's of communication. It was yep. not for com public suppression. No, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Can you move some shade for a second? Oh, sorry if the sound was gone. No, I just oh, I just asked about the LRAD, and the LRAD was being used to broadcast information. It was not being used to suppress the crowd. Okay, confirmation from AFP there that that um I was nearly right. And Aussie Cossack is fear mongering again. Okay. <laughs> the only incident. Thing and was he just of happens to be part of it, yeah. yeah. No, that's, I was just asking him about the LRAD, and he's like, oh, you saw that, yeah, uh, this and that. I'm like, yeah, I thought it might be that, but it is like the popular rumour at the moment because of Mr. Cossa. I'm sure everyone has their part to play, though. All right. Well, that's that, guys. I only came back because someone gave me a call and said the police were about to do their media thing. I was literally like two blocks away. So I am going to hang up again and go back to going to get my coffee.